this lecture we will learn about pests of silk worm that, that are fuzzy fly and Dermistus beetle. We will discuss life cycle of these pests, their symptoms of attack and what are the control measures that we can opt for to control their infestation. Fuzzy fly. <coughs> the scientific name is Exorista bombyces. It belongs to order Diptera. Adult Uzi fly is brackish grey in color and males are larger than females. They show sexual dimorphism. Males can be easily distinguished from the females by the presence of tarsal pads and external genitalia. That we can see here the pinkish brown in color at the tip of the abdomen. In this picture, we will be discussing life cycle of Uzi fly. Female lays 500 to 600 eggs during her lifetime, that is for 18 to 22 days. Eggs hatch in 2 3 days. Maggots after hatching immediately pierces into the skin of the silk worm. This is a picture showing the infestation of Uzi fly on the silk worm larvae. The place of entry of the maggot into the silk worm body develops a black scar. This maggot feeds for around 5 to 7 days inside the body of the larvae as a parasitic maggot. After that, it comes out of the body by creating the opening into the body and spends a post-parasitic life of 12 to 20 hours. They pupate in cracks and crevices and the adult emerges after 10 to 12 days. This adult feeds on pollen, nectar, etc. Uzi fly lays one or two cream colored eggs on the silk worm larva. This is the picture showing egg of Uzi fly laid on the body of the silk worm larva. Generally, it prefers 4th or 5th instar larvae to lay egg. What are the symptoms of attack? As I have already told you, that a black scar is formed at a point where the egg hatches and maggot enters the body of the silk worm. This Uzi uh, fly, Uzi maggot, uses its hooks that are attached to the foam to enter the body of the silk worm. From this black scar, the pest attack can be identified. As we can see in present picture, displayed picture, that a black scar we can see here and they can also damage the cocoons. This is a large view of the black scar that we can see that, ident that marks the infestation of Uzi fly on the silk worm. This is the Uzi maggot and Uzi pupa. Now here we will discuss about the control measures. That what are the control measures that can be opted to prevent the to control the infestation of the Uzi fly? So there are various methods or the control measures, namely exclusion methods, physical control, biological control, or others. So we'll deal with all these controlling measures one by one in each slide. What is an exclusion method? It is basically avoiding the contact of Uzi fly 
with the silicone. This can be done by using the nylon net enclosure or by fixing mesh to the windows and doors or covering individual rearing tray with the nylon net. The next controlling measure is physical control. This includes Uzi trap which is powder that is available in the market. We have to dissolve this powder with water and keep the tray, this uh, solution that we have made in trays near the doors and windows both inside and outside of the rearing house to trap the adult Uzi fly. In this way we can control their attack on the silicon or they, we can prevent their entry to the silicon. Next is biological control. It is done by releasing Mesolinx thymus inside the rearing house on second day of fifth instar. Well, Mesolinx thymus is a pupal parasitoid of the Uzi fly. What is a parasitoid? Parasitoid is the organism that kills its host ultimately. So this picture is showing a pouch containing mesolinx thymus and this is an egg laying mesolinx thymus adult. Another way we can control the infestation is by chemical control method. In this, either we can spray oozy side or oozy powder to kill the Uzi eggs on the silkworm body or we can spray 2% bleaching powder solution on the body of the silkworm larvae to detach or kill the Uzi eggs. Another pest we have to deal in this particular lecture is Dermistic beetle. This is a pest of again silkworm larva. It belongs to order Coleoptera. Both adult and larvae are black in color. Female lays around 150 to 250 eggs in floss of the cocoon and the total life cycle is for 38 to 54 days. Now we will discuss symptoms of pest attack. Larvae cause more damage than adults. The infested cocoons show the presence of multiple irregular holes on the body. Although they show preference for feeding on leftover or dead matter in the cocoons, but they do attack the green cocoons as, the, as well as the egg laying moths whenever their population get increased. This is the picture showing the symptoms of attack on both the cocoons as well as the adult egg laying moths. You can see the this black scars present on their body which shows the infestation of the thermistid beetle to the Uzi fly. Sorry, silkworm larvae and moths. Now, how we can control? There are various control measures again to control the infestation of this domestic larvae. Preventive measures include storage of rejected cocoons should be avoided, proper cleaning of rearing house should be done and disinfection of the rearing apparatus should be done. Another method is the mechanical control which includes collecting the grubs by sweeping and destroying by burning. Chemical control again this method includes spraying delta methrin solution on the walls and floor or sprinkling the bleaching powder. So these are the measures that we can take into place to control the infestation of the 
by Mr. Peter Vincent. Thank you.